Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <sighs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery. Savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love leaving love aside. <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Let's go.
see those two? Stay out of sight. Arthur. Good. Now take that damn door in. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah. Let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching him. Piece of shit.
Get on your friend on that boat before any more show up. Put him in the front. Bill. Bill. You got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Because you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be this <laughs> Our friends, the Pinkertons, are going to come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Call them now. You call them! Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Mind yourself, Susan. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time. Jim, look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. They'll pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute Properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. 
Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! Look out! Coming back. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina and another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You won't talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hip town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Got it. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. And right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Now, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hitch up here. How you robbing thieves? It ain't no crime at all. Folk like this. They stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. I love that Hosea! He is a true artist.
Okay. Now then, Martha, would you please have Senior Bank Manager here open up the vault? For these safes. Tell them the combination. Come on, speak. Speak or die. Now. Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? All right, should be one more number. Last number. Come on. 54. Okay, I'm in. Would you look at that? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Come on! Shit. Let's go! Okay. Think we got a problem out here? Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? Let my friends go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains, no more deals! Mr. Milton, this is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances! Come on! There's your deal, Dutch. Jose. Jose. God.
Arthur, climb up to the roof and cover us! I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> What's your thing? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on! like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. Well, what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. 
I'm guessing it's that. Will we die out there right now? Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Head for the docks. Guards up ahead. Not now. Just wait a second. Let it come, Avis. The rats will have to come out of their own adventure. You should have had them in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Milton's got men on every street. Looks like they've stopped. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on. Rest you. Follow when it's clear. Someone's coming. Look out on the left. Stay low. Check the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. All right, then. Come on. Fellas, Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Someone whistle out here? Shit, another one. Everyone stay down and keep quiet. See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on.
least we got some gold. I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John. Lenny. Jose. That wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well. It's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Archer! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. 